Jiu-Jitsu. <lacht> during winter time and in the soot. They call this stove the E4. And now the reason why it's divided into four, it's because it is a windbreaker. When the lady is busy cooking this side and the wind is blowing from this direction, she is gonna move her fire to the other side. Very clever, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what to say, ladies? No excuses. Let us greet her by saying, Hot on me. Hot on me. Hot on me. She will grind soda. She will grind her sorghum to powder like this and after grinding her sorghum, she will then create their own soft porridge known as moto. So now, let us thank them by saying Ria Le Buha. Ria Le Buha. Ria Le not allowed to be here. It's because of this hut right next to me. They named this hut Mehoro. Now, this is where men will take young boys from the age of 16 to 18 years and then initiate the boys to becoming men. They are going to put the boys inside of this hut and around this entire area, teaching the boys to become men, how to carry themselves inside the village as men, and how to respect women, children, and elders inside the village as men. And once they are done here, take the boys out up to the mountains. Up to the mountains, that is where they're going to circumcise the boys, and then teach the boys how to hunt and how to fight. Because remember, after leaving this place, the boy is now considered as a man inside the community. So by teaching the boy how to fight, when an enemy is attacking, he must know how to protect his own family. And by hunting, he must go out up the mountains, hunt some food, bring it back home for his family to eat. And the only time that you ladies are allowed to be here is to bring food and beer. Then out to the kitchen. So now, I'm going to take you to your next village. <laughs> Village, Ladies, say my dear. My dear. Oh. And the reason why you are not allowed to be here in this village is because of the main gate and their electrical fence. What? Can you see the fence? No. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Who is? Yes. It's because an enemy can't walk or jump through the elevator. It's too big. So the enemy is forced to come through the main gate. Now that is where the enemy is gonna find men sitting here. Men will jump and fight off the enemy. 
Sorry, sir. No, I'm talking to him. I'm sorry. Oh, no. So, saying, Molena Ka. Molena Ka. Away. Not away. 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 <laughs>go inside first. Ladies sit on the right, gents you sit on the left. And the reason why ladies on the right and men on the left is because the men of this village believe that ladies you are always right. Yeah. 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 What? So when the family is gathered inside here and the enemy wants to attack, the enemy does not knock. The enemy will kick the door by force. And the door open towards the right hand side. So ladies, you are safe and protected. And uh, this is another stable food around here. Maize and beans. Semp. Stamp. Umbush. Umbush. And I have two smoking pipes here. The other one is for the men and the other one is for the ladies. I'm recording yes, sir. 12 13. <laughs> and the reason why they pay so many cows they say they can't marry a lady out of her beauty they only marry a lady out of her hard work if she's beautiful educated and hard working that's a bonus huh? that's a bonus to the gentleman but now if she's beautiful and not hard working no petty man is gonna marry that lady because now they believe that pretty ladies are pretty lazy for here she's busy pounding white corn and after pounding her corn, she create their own porridge, their own pap, known as Buswa or Bohobe. And this is I'm the Murula you. tree. You know the Murula fruit? Yes. Amarul. Mm. Amarul. Mm. Ah! Ah! Of this tree, they brew their own beer. So now, let us thank them by saying Rialebu. I'm going to take you to a final village, which is the Zulu. Yeah. This is not a grave. They call this pile of stones Isivivan. Now, Isivivan, this is a good like, place for the Zulu people. So now, when we are about to take a long journey away from home, come across a pile of stone like this. They look for a stone outside and away from the path. Pick up the stone, make a wish, spit on the stone and add on to the pile. By so doing, they are busy communicating with their ancestors, telling them about the journey, the purpose of the journey, and again asking for good luck to come back home safe and alive. So now, let us greet the warrior up there by saying, Sabona! Sabona! Hey, yeah, 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 I feel like I'm in a lot of negotiation. Sabona, Unjani, Hello. 
How are you? I'm fine. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> so now, let us thank him by saying Sia Bonga. Sia Bonga. And behind me, this is the Zulu cattle crawl. We call this cattle crawl Isibaya. I is a TV. And to pay 11 cows for one wife. And now, in our culture, we say no cow, no wife. Yes, or gents? Many cows, many wives. But many wives, many problems. Let's go. Many wives. Many wives. By saying San Bonani. San Bonani. And this is the Zulu kitchen. We call this kitchen Ikiba. You identify the kitchen with the openings all around till that end. It's a chimney to flow and ease out the smoke when the ladies are busy cooking inside. Respected huts inside the village in the wood, grandmother's hut. Before building all of these other huts, this is the first hut that they built. And you identify the hut with the horns and the scars right on top. Looking at the doors, all the doors are made so low, only for two reasons. The first reason is for respect. When you enter inside, you are forced to bow. And now by bowing, you are showing respect to the person that's inside. And the second reason is for the enemies. When an enemy is attacking, the first that will appear is the enemy's head. So the person that's inside has a chance to chop the head off. Sorry. This is how you are in the Hola. Give me the ring. Let's go. Uh, okay, then, open and close, yes. Then, that take time. Yeah. 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 And uh, right over here, I do have the long throwing spear, which was introduced by King Shaka Zulu's father, King mm. Sanzanga Kona Kacha. Now they named this long throwing spear Isipate. And when Shaka Zulu took over as king from his father Sanzanga Kona, Shaka said his father was a coward. He started to create this, the big shield, in Kumba for protection and introduced the AK-47. Yeah, 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 yeah. mm. When Shaka is at war, he would cover himself with this big shield, run as fast as he could, and when he's close to the enemy, open the shield, close, open and stand right through the ribs. So now when he twists and pulls out the spear, he's gonna make a sound, mm. breaking the ribs. They named the short stabbing spear Ihua. Kontorasha. So now, mm -hmm. let us thank the spear maker by saying Siabo. 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 So now, this is the end of your cultural tour, but not the end of your cultural experience. Did you all enjoy the tour? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Today's mm -hmm. mm. uh, 
It's nice, it's cozy. It's giving Emma Kaya. Hi African. Hey, yo, hey, yo, what's going on? Shut up, shut up. You're in the camp one saying, Aman Zayashis. Aman Zayakotel. Oh, Aman Zayakotel. Yeah. <laughs> I was, ah, 